Okay, well, this was not the video that I had planned on making today, but I figured why not turn the cameras on as I try to work through this. My Mac Pro that I built back in May works completely fine until the most recent update of High Sierra. And for whatever reason, everything started to go wrong as soon as I updated to the current version of High Sierra. I don't know why, but uh, it's, it started with, as you know, if you watch my channel, I had a video about ooh, just a couple of days ago um, about how the graphics card stopped working in Mac OS. That's loud. Uh, it works just fine in boot camp, which is weird, um, but it was not even turning on in Mac OS. So I said, you know what? I'm going to buy a newer card. I had an R9 380 in it. The card is kind of old. I'd had it. I bought it new. So I've had it for almost about five years or so at this point. And I wanted something that was going to be metal supported, which as far as I know, the R9 380 was not. I could be wrong about that though. I didn't want to deal with it. So I just bought a 560, an RX 560 on eBay put it in and everything was working fine. I'm like, good to go, we are done. One day after I filmed that video, um, the, the hard drive died, my one terabyte hard drive. If you followed me on Twitter, then you saw my touching eulogy to my, my trusty one terabyte hard drive. It just stopped working. Uh, so I lost a whole bunch of Final Cut Pro libraries that I had on there. I've had that hard drive for almost seven years and it's gone. Don't know why that happened, but it no longer is with us. So I had to order a replacement for that. That has not arrived yet. But now I'm having another issue, which is, as you can see behind me, I'm stuck on the login screen. I, I cannot get past the login screen. I don't know why. It was working fine this morning. Um, I, I had had these issues where I would start it up with the 560 installed. And as you may know, if you work on Mac Pros, especially older ones like this, this is a 2009. Um, a lot of those older machines have issues where, well, not an issue, but it's basically if you put in your own graphics card, you don't have the boot screen. And that's fine for me because, you know, I didn't really care too much. But for whatever reason, if I started up with the 560, uh, I would get stuck on this login screen where the little login wheel would freeze and then I get a pinwheel of death for all eternity. So I'd have to shut it down and then turn it back on with the GT120, with the stock graphics card. And that was working fine for me. Um, but then I was playing some games and I got some graphical glitches, which is nothing new. I mean, it happened on the R9 380 before that stopped working. Um, and there's nothing wrong with the card. The card works perfectly fine in bootcamp, but in some games in Mac OS, the, the 560 was having these same graphical glitches. And normally you would solve that by restarting the computer with the external GPU installed. So I shut the computer down and it has yet to turn back on. That was a couple of hours ago. It simply will not turn on at this point. Um, I have no idea why. I'm completely befuddled and very, very annoyed because this is where I'm doing a good amount of my editing and not only am I out all of my Final Cut libraries, which I fortunately had backed up and running off an external hard drive, but now I can't even access the computer. And I have no idea why this is happening. There's no reason that this should happen. And it gets worse because I mentioned I, I couldn't get it to log in. That includes starting it up with the stock graphics card. Even with the stock graphics card being used for display, it will not boot up. It just won't work. I don't understand why it's happening. So now I have the camera on and I'm gonna try and fix this in real time. So before I start trying stuff, it does also bring up the point that uh, I am actually looking into getting an iMac Pro or a Mac Pro, a newer one, or an iMac. I, I, I like having a Mac desktop because they give you better value than the laptops do and more performance. Um, but this is not working for me right now. I guess let's, let's, uh, let's try and fix this. Okay, so here we have it. Basically what I've tried so far is just uh, removing, uh, here it is. I just removed the stock GT120. This card is garbage and put the RX 560 in its same slot, thinking that would do something. 
It has not. So what I want to try now, just to see if we can isolate the problem with the GPU, is I'm going to take out the 560 completely and put back the GT120 and run that alone. So we'll see if that gets the problem solved. Maybe if I put the card in the right way. This is really, really pissing me off. Okay, so now we're gonna try this. Okay, well, that is nothing new, but we do have the boot screen, of course, because I have the stock card in it, but of course that doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to work because as I said, it wasn't even logging in with the stock card and the RX 560 in the secondary PCIe port, but we'll see now. So, got here before, log in, and the wheel is frozen, and let's see if we get a pinwheel of death. And there it is. Great. Okay, I have another idea. Okay, so my next idea is to try to determine if there's something wrong with my operating system. So I'm going to take the SSD out of this 2011 MacBook Pro, and I'm gonna try running that in the Mac Pro to see if it'll turn on. Got a mouse, okay, okay. The pinwheel stopped. Okay, don't care about iCloud. And I got the pinwheel again. <sighs> All right, let's cut to a time lapse of me sitting here ripping my hair out while the diagnostics runs. Okay, so basically what I ended up doing was I tried to boot into safe mode, I tried to boot into uh, Apple hardware test with the normal SSD and with the older outdated version of High Sierra on the other SSD, nothing worked, nothing at all. So I said, you know what, screw it. I'm gonna come back to this video later and just forget about this whole mess for right now. I'll just use it in bootcamp, I don't care. So I took the computer out and I took out the SSD, put the correct one back in, took out my broken hard drive because I don't want that in there if it's not gonna work. And then I put the Radeon 560 back in it just because you know it works in bootcamp so I might as well have it in. And then I turned it on and, and it worked. It just, it just turned on. So as soon as this happened, I pulled out the camera because I wanna make sure that it's actually gonna do something. So uh, it logged in no problem. Everything is showing up right. Mac Pro early 2009, 3.33 gigahertz, six core Xeon, 16 gigs of RAM, GeForce 120, GT 120. Um, so that is all working fine. Now let me go into my display settings. And yep, I can run all the way up to 120 hertz. I have a 144 hertz monitor, the GT 120, which is a little poo poo graphics card, can only do 120. Um, but at least that's working. So I guess I'm gonna switch to the 560 and see if that works. All right, and unplugged. And it's plugged in to the 560. Why did any of that happen? <sighs> well, that was incredibly irritating. So obviously, as I said earlier, I don't really know what the point of this video is I don't know why any of that happened um, but it seems to be working okay for now although I'm not even gonna pretend that it's completely fine and I had mentioned in my previous video about the issues that started appearing after this latest update and seeing how many there are I would say don't update your Mac Pro if you have a cheese grater Mac Pro like I do don't update it uh, if you're on whatever the most stable version of High Sierra or earlier that you're running, do not completely update your computer. It's just, you know, what, what, with all the issues I have, I just 
want to put this video out there, not for any specific purpose, but just as a warning to say, it's not always gonna run flawlessly, even though when I made my previous video, this computer was working fine for a couple days, and, you know, apart from the hard drive dying, which, you know, that's independent of the other issues I've been facing, but apart from that, it was running completely fine until I had all of these bizarre, weird issues. So just don't update your computer, um, especially when, when Mojave comes out, it might be tempting if you have a metal-supported graphics card to just pop it on there. I would wait a very long time until we know that it's going to be stable because what I just did was a complete mess and it was all so pointless. It's just, it's not worth it. So be careful and make sure, especially with these older machines where support isn't as good, make sure you do your due diligence and are patient with these older machines. Uh, so that's all I have for today's video. Kind of weird, kind of pointless, but I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like, follow me on Twitter. Uh, link is in the description for my subreddit if you have any questions or if you have any feedback, if you might know what's going on. Um, I advise you to use that as a tool to try and troubleshoot your problems. Let me know down in the comments below and I'll try to help you if I can. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video.